Good morning, welcome to Special Olympics Chicago. I'm here, my name is William Tang. I'm here, the guest of Team Marty and Marty and Reese is um, for the Chicago Polo Punch. Welcome, Reese. Welcome, Marty. Team Marty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're excited to be here today. Okay. Tell us, tell us uh, how you get involved with Chicago Polo Punch Special Olympics Chicago. Can you tell the, our audience? Sure. Well, we, Marty and Reese, are uh, lifelong friends <laughs> since we were born. Um, both of our families and some of our friends mm -hmm. decided to get together to do the Polar Plunge and start um, becoming involved in raising money for Special Olympics. Mm -hmm. uh, Marty and Reese are both born with Down syndrome in okay. 2018, and we've done the Polar Plunge um, every year since. We've done it for three years now. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell our audience why you choose to do Chicago Polar Plunge with Special Olympics? Sure. Well, we want um, Marty and Reese to be able to participate in the Polar, uh, I'm sorry, in Special Olympics. So we are getting involved now um, to ensure that they'll have the opportunities when they're ready to participate. And as a parent, it is our responsibility to ensure these programs are thriving when our Marty and Reese are willing and able to participate. And you know, Reese's uh, cousins and family, you know, are very athletic. Um, especially the women, they're very dominant in athletics. So um, she sees her cousins and her aunts and her siblings participate in sports. So I want her to have that same, you know, team camaraderie and um, competition that you know our, her family can have. So why, so why, how, how do you like um, the Chicago Polo Plunge for your third year? Can you tell me? <laughs> Did yeah, I... this year was a little bit different. We did the beach for two years yep. in a row, mm -hmm. and that was a lot of fun. This year, being virtual, we had to get a little more creative in our plunge and in our fundraising. Um, we had a dunk tank um, a, a couple weekends ago. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I do miss the beach. The beach is a really fun day. You wake up early. Um, we take a bus from the south side of Chicago. We were from the Beverly Morgan Park neighborhood. Um, the last couple of years, we've, we've had two buses because we've had so many people on our team. <laughs> um, you wake up early, you have you know, a little party on your way to the beach, um, and then you, you, know, you go to the tent, have a little more party, and then you, you know, celebrate, and then you go jump in the water. So our first year, it was so cold. Um, I actually have a little scar on my, my foot because the ice, but it was a blast. The second year we did it, it was really warm. It was, I think, 50 some degrees. So um, it was a really fun day. Um, next year we'll be back at the beach, but um, I also like the virtual plunge this year because we were able to um, still celebrate and raise some, some money for the Special Olympics in our team. And with being virtual, we were able to include um, some kids, Marty and Reese's mm -hmm. big sisters, uh, Reagan and Gigi, they're four. They got to participate and do a polar plunge also mm -hmm. um, with their friend Lucy Hayes. They ran through a splash pad. <laughs> it was fun. They got all wet. That's fun. Are they, are Marty and Reese, are they going to be in the Chicago Park District programming yet soon? They're not yet, but they will be soon. Um, they're Still two, Marty and Reese turned three in August and September this year. Wow. So we will get them involved soon. Yeah, and hopefully they'll be members um, of the Kennedy and the Mount Greenwood Park Districts. Mm -hmm. So um, I know they have a lot of programs there that um, involve our, our athletes. So we look forward to participating in everything that they have to offer. Hey. So um, can you tell me more um, are they going to be a future Special Olympics, uh, Special Olympics Chicago Olympians? We hope so. Yeah, we hope to participate. So I am partial to softball. I hope there's softball. Um, we also like golf a lot. Uh, Reese always has her golf clubs out in the living room. And so <laughs> we're going to get her involved with golf outside so she doesn't break anything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why do they like the Chicago Park District's program? You know, the, the Chicago Park District programs are very well organized. Mm -hmm. um, we have friends that already participate and have 
the best time. We've gone to events um, already, and we, you know, enjoy the camaraderie and, um, you know, j just the day. This the, each event, you know, the the athletes get, you know, they get their lunch, they get their 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 medals at the end, um, and it's, you know, just the participation and the energy is fantastic. So pretty soon they might be going to the little. Uh, uh, Young athletes programming. Mm -hmm. Soon, yep. yep. Hopefully. So again, they're two and a half years old, so they'll participate here within the next couple of years. Um, their their friend Lucy already participates and has the best time. Mm -hmm. um, she just did snowshoeing. Oh wow! Uh, so we were at the snowshoeing event um, a couple of weeks ago, and thankfully this year there was actually snow that they could use for the snowshoeing event. So we met a, quite a few athletes that day. So they like it over there at Mount Greenwood, huh? Yes, and I think too, you know, one, one thing I would love to say um, to this audience is the Beverly Mount Greenwood neighborhoods and Morgan Park neighborhoods yep. are, you know, a fantastic support. You know, they they either participate with us in the Polar Plunge, mm -hmm. they, they support our, you know, Marty and Reese outside of the Special Olympics, uh, they donate the, you know, to our charity and our fundraising events, and then also the businesses in in the area. You know, they've come through providing us raffle prizes to help fundraise for okay. all of these. You know, not just the Polar Plunge, but all of the Special Olympics events that go on throughout the city. Our community is very generous and okay. supportive, and we're yeah. very grateful for that. So, how do you like uh, why why they choose the um, the Special Olympics? program with Mount Greenwood? It's local, um, definitely, but when you talk to anybody in the city with Special Olympics, you hear about the Mount Greenwood Park and um, everything that they do so well there, you know, and how involved the athletes are um, at Mount Greenwood. So mm -hmm. we're really excited and very fortunate to live in such a great community that, that has these programs. So how long have you been there at the Mount Greenwood like area? We haven't started any programs mm -hmm. yet for them. We will mm -hmm. soon. I think um, after they turn three, yep. they'll be able to start. So we've just been uh, watching some this year and meeting people um, through our polar I think, fundraising. I think uh, when, when it's like spring games pretty soon is, uh, here, uh, we we will have um, have to watch the spring game probably in the, it's in the city here. Yes, mm -hmm. okay. And do you participate then in those spring games? Well, I am, but uh, pretty soon um, I'm gonna wait until it's this um, um, this virus is going over wood, and then I could yeah. go back okay. to the parks. Okay. Okay. What's typically your favorite um, event to participate in? Just and, so we know for our recent Marty. <laughs> well, <laughs> I like soccer. It's my favorite. Okay. Yeah. No, we plan to get Reese into soccer eventually. Um, she likes to kick the balls around the house. Oh, Again, yeah. hopefully not breaking anything, oh. but we'll, we can't wait to get outside. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's so good. It's going to be really nice, uh, hopefully. Yes. In yep. a week or two. Definitely. So have you participated in golf at all? Because I know that's the one thing that we well, want to get Reese in. Not really. I <laughs> I did golfing, a golf outing with my, um, like, uh, Activisions, uh, golf outings. Um, I did a little bit of everything. Okay. One other uh, item that we'd like to do is do the cooking shows when they're they're uh, old oh, enough. Do you participate in those? Can yeah, you tell well, us I about do. those oh, so we have some insight? The cooking show for Special Olympics Blizzard Insurance Charities, they, we partner with uh, Farm Fresh, Farm Taste Market. Uh, we do like the bingo every Monday night. Uh, we do dancing on every Fridays. Fun. Uh, we do like a little trivia, um, trivia, trivia game, citywide trivia game with the uh, other um, Special Olympics. Um, what's it called? Special Olympics. Um, um, Special Olympics uh, Council. Okay. And then we, we always every, <clears throat> and then I did the everything with um, with. Then I played the games with them sometimes. Okay. Oh, fun. Sounds, Sounds really nice. Yeah. I would like to thank um, Marty team, Marty and Marty and Reese to come over to our show today. I see you next time. Thank you right. for having us. Thank you so much. You're it was welcome. a pleasure being we here. Enjoyed being here. <laughs>
Welcome back. I would like to uh, have the um, basketball demonstration by Kyle Gillard and Katie Stachura um, show you some demonstration. Okay, right now we're just going to go over some basic basketball dribbling drills. Some simple drills you can do at home, uh, in the basement, or anywhere you have the space to do so. You can do some right from the comforts of your home in your chair. Just gonna do some basic dribbling drills, and like I said, you don't. Uh, before you start dribbling, I just want you to know that you push down on the ball with your fingertips. It's okay, it's demonstrating right now. You don't have to look at the ball, but if you need to look at the ball at first, by all means do so. But eventually, you want to find a focal point on the wall, look at it, and dribble. So, Katie, just show right now with your right hand. Push the ball down with your fingertips. And this is just something you could do at home, sitting down. She's dribbling the ball, she's pushing down, she's looking for it, doing everything the right way. Push down, push down, push down. The ball is in control. You don't have to worry about looking at the ball because whatever comes goes down is gonna come right back up. Then you switch over, whatever we have a rule, whatever you do on the right side, you do on the left side, cause she's a righty. So she's doing the same thing. And I know a lot of people don't have a confidence in your weaker hand, but well, she's doing the same thing, keeping her eye on the focal point, pushing down with her fingertips. It may get away a little bit, but eventually you'll start to get it. Okay, that's one dribbling drill. And if you can't use a basketball at home because it's too noisy, a tennis ball works great because it's smaller. So when you get the basketball in your hand, it's actually going to feel better. So if you want to practice with a tennis ball, by all means do so. But if your parents are really getting on you about bouncing the ball, it's another drill you can do. It's called a figure eight. All she's going to do is make a, uh, the letter eight between her legs, scoot up in the chair, and as fast as you can with your head up, just through the legs, making an eight. Coming one with the ball, going through, switch back. Good hand-eye coordination. As soon as you say right. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next thing we're going to do is a fingertip drill. Fingertip drills just side to side. Get to use, used to pushing the ball with your fingertips back and forth. Just gonna do that a couple of times. Real quiet drill you can do sitting on the edge of your bed before you go to sleep at night. Another thing is to wrap around the head. Take it around the head now. Take it around, take it around, back to the fingertip. And you back to the fingertip drill. Back to back and forth, same thing. And you just mix it up, take it around. Take it around the head again, and then incorporate the figure eight, incorporate all three. Go fingertips, head around. Okay, those are some of the chair drills we do. Once you've mastered that, it's warmed up outside, you can get out a little bit. We do a stationary drill that I like to call waist, knees, oh. ankles. We don't want to dribble the ball no higher than the waist. Because you dribble higher than the waist, you're subject to getting the ball taken. So she's just going to keep the ball pushing down with the fingertips again, like we showed in the chair. Pushing down, keeping it waist level. And when I call knee, she's going to take it down to the knee. This is primarily where you want the ball to be. A little bend in your back, head up, push the ball down, take it down to the ankle. It's a little speed dribble. Control. Pounding it down, head up. You don't have to look at it. You don't have to slap the ball. You don't have to beat it up. <laughs> Knees, ankles, 
Back down, mix it up a little bit, keep them confused because in the game of basketball, you never know the height of the ball, where you're going to be with the dribble. And like I said, whatever we do on the right, we take it to the left. Let's go waist on the left side. Knees. Ankle. Knees. Waist. So as you can see, she's a little weak in the left hand, but she still stayed focused, still dribbled. It got away from her a little bit, but not to the point where it's rolling all over the place. Still kept her head up. So Katie, that was a great job. Good job. That's some dribbling drills you can do at home. You can try by yourself. Don't need anyone around. You can always get better in the comforts of your own home. Thank you, Coach. All right. Once you have the dribble, and then you're going to need to pass to your team. That's when they have a skills division, and this is one of the skills that they do. One of it is the chest pass. So William here is going to assist me. So you're going to start with your hands right here at your chest, right? And then you're going to take a step forward. Mm -hmm. Step forward. And then you're going to push. Okay. It's good to practice it without the ball first, so that you kind of get the gist of it, where you just go, and then push. you get in the, yeah, there you go. Pull, and then push. push. Okay. Then once you have that, you got to do the same thing. You ready? Yep. Okay, you're going to step and then arms forward. Your target's going to be, go ahead. Where your arms land is where your target's going to be. Okay. Ready for another one? Yep. All right. There you go. How your arms are straight. Perfect. Very good. The next we're going to do is our pass. Our, um, help me out here. Bounce pass. Thank you. That was a hard word. <laughs> Bounce pass. Usually we should give them a visual. So we have a visual right here. There's a little crack we're going to use. <laughs> you like this? Yeah. See? Yeah, you like it. It goes with the seam. So you're going to do the same thing, but instead when you press, you're going to press down. Okay? Oops. That's okay. You stayed with it. Okay. Now you're going to step, and then you're going to aim for that. Very good. Now put your arms a little bit more straight, and then you have it right on target. Oh, I hope we don't compete against you, William. You no. got that. One more time? Yep. Go ahead. And then with this, if you don't have someone to play with, you can play against a wall at home. Ask first. Or even in your once the weather gets nice, so you can press against a garage or any basically anywhere that has a hard surface. So that is what we have. Thank you for coming. Um, thank you, Kyle and Katie, for uh, coming over to our show today. Hi, everybody. My name is Eileen Ganan. I am the Special Olympics Administrator for the Chicago Park District. Thank you guys all for joining us today. Um, so just a few things we want to get out the word that we have a lot of stuff going on this spring. Um, in addition to our events that we have our family bowling tournament on April 24th or May 1st. And we also have our spring games annual track and field event going on the week of May 3rd to May 7th. Both of those registrations can be found on the Special Olympics Chicago Special Children's Charities Facebook pages. In addition, you can receive any information from your local coach. Hello and welcome to Special Olympics Chicago Sports Report on Can TV. I'm Denise Thomas. Great to have you with us. We may not be doing regular competitions right now, but there are some plenty of activities for our athletes and their families to participate in every day of the week. On Mondays and Tuesdays, we have driving range, and mini golf, as well as virtual fitness. Wednesdays, we have archery and more driving range. Thursdays, we have bowling. Fridays, we have more driving range and open gym. And finally, on Saturdays, we have open gym and bowling. Sign up for any of these activities through the Chicago Park District. Have you gotten your COVID-19 vaccination yet? Lots of vaccination sites are open, are now open, so get busy and make your appointment today. Contact Chicago Department of Health for locations. That's it for the sports report. Thank you so much for watching our show. Our show, the first air of first and third of Saturday of each month on Can TV in Chicago. And also be found on the Can TV's YouTube channel. And also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We hope you enjoyed today's show. We'll see you next time, and we'll talk to you again real soon.